morning YouTube. But it's a bit windy today and a bit windy last night. So I'm not gonna go up the top too much because you just won't hear anything but the wind. Been awake for probably a few hours, two hours, three hours, just laying in the hammock. Um, listening to the birds, there are so many birds in such a small area. This place is tiny, but there's a lot more birds here than I thought there would be. They've been singing away. So there's the bash I had last night. Um, just going to come around the front and show you. Just pinned down three corners, roughly, because it sort of rained for about 10 minutes. About, about an hour, actually. And then um, I'm about to actually stand to show you it. And then with the uh, the large fence post I had, I like to use that for an upright to give me some headroom. Um, just sat there in front of the fire all night, and um, just kept wanting to go to bed. And then I was determined to burn the last few logs I had, so burnt every log I had, post as it was. Everything's burnt out, and um, just tied that corner, lassoed it over the lasso. Is that what I would know? Uh, slung it over a branch and down onto the handlebars of the bike. Sufficient weight. The bike's got a brick for the front wheel, just happened to be there. Uh, so I used it so the bike won't roll down. And uh, it worked. And the lean too at the moment is getting bashed by the wind because the wind seems to come in from that direction quite a lot. Um, and on my kit, I've got my empty bag and my, uh, the webbing, the water's underneath the hammock. It is quite windy today. But it's quite sheltered there. It's still a bit blowy, but compared to what it would be like if I stepped up there, we'll do that later. Because I don't think the wind's going to dry down. The uh, wind's not going to die down at all today. I haven't got a coffee yet. I you just got up and started filming when I should have just made a brew. So I'm going to make a brew. So that'll wake me up. And um, probably get back to you. Yeah, two camps ready. If I, had a ground, if I had the ground sheet out down there, I could have slept on the floor. But I don't like the bugs. Not now I've got the hammock. Yeah, bashes are definitely a good size. I mean, it could be bigger, but they're absolutely spot on for this sort of thing. Well, despite the wind, my little homemade pop can stove works a treat. It's not a great deal of shelter down here, uh, or behind the basher. There's a little bit of shelter, but not a lot. Um, but it's working. I've had something to eat, so I'm a bit more, more awake now. There's like so many stages of waking up. One, get up. Two, have a cigarette. Three, have something to eat. Four, have a coffee. Five, stare at the wall for about an hour. And then eventually you wake up. <laughs> There's my little... Uh, for radio hopefully the van's still there I'm not going to bother checking because if anything's happened but I don't want it to ruin the weekend I'd rather find out afterwards There's a road over there hello car and we'll pan out just about to see Beachy Ed Oh, I'd beat shed actually that way. But uh yeah. Not really a lot to see. I don't really want to come out of here. I'll be spotted and people want to come and investigate and stuff. Yeah, that's really windy out here. But the noise cancelling facility normally cancels it out quite well. Yeah, that's quite windy. No oh, sheep! Zoom on the sheep. The little white dots of sheep. Yes. Right. So, last night, um, I was warm. <coughs> I did wake up for uh, a 10-100. Through the night. No idea what time it was. Um, and I, I remember waking up very warm. Uh, just in a sleeping bag with no uh, underquilt, 
the London blanket. Just the uh, Alice body warm one, which I was tempted to take off. I had my hat on and my neck scarf. And I think I took my hat off for a little while just to let some heat out. It was really quite warm. Didn't have my softies on, just normal trousers. And uh, I screwed up my softies and used them as a pillow. That way, if I did need them through the night, then it would be quick access. I could just grab them. That's definitely burnt everything that was behind um, the stove, uh, well, the fire. On the other videos, if you haven't seen this before, the flames come out of the gaps of the bricks. And uh, it looks quite cool. When the wind blows into it, the flames come out the back. But uh, yeah, that's cool. The bricks were just found around here. Thought I'd make some use out of them. Um, don't know what that one was normally used for. Last time, that was used for drinks. Booth station was here. I think on this brick when I first came over here for a few hours to check out the place. And then the past couple of weekends, the brew station was transferred to there permanently. And I just left my um, brew kit hanging off the tree and then made drinks on there all weekend. Um, but today, because my brew kit's like in one bag, um, I don't have to have everything at the camp. You know, I can leave everything at the camp and it just gets cluttered, you know, cooking, making brews here. So I can leave all the gear there I don't need and just have a brew over here. Or I can have a brew over there. I just sort of take the bag where I want. I'm not restricted to having everything in one bag. All my bags, pouches and pockets all around clips and unzips. So I can sort of like, um, I don't know, set up in one spot. Or I can leave it all here, grab this brew kit, bottle of water, and just go for a walk somewhere. Certainly not do that today in this weather though. No <laughs> way, that'd be stupid. That wind's cold. Well, it's not cold at the moment. But after about 10 minutes of walking in it, I reckon I'd be freezing. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stay here where it's safe. Safe being out of sight, out of mind, and sheltered. Um, there's a tiny breeze in here, but you know, we're on the South Downs, out of there, it's, it's, it's a horrible wind. We're gonna be keeping away from that today. I just don't really particularly wanna get cold or wet or anything. I'm thinking about just making this and laying back in the hammock. Don't know yet. No plans. We don't do plans. Plans are for weekdays. Well, I have retired back to the hammock. I could have just sat on the chair, but I fancied a wee lay down. Get my boots off. And it's still quite windy. Yeah. Overall rundown, I think, of last night wasn't too bad considering I would say insufficient time setting up camp but it wasn't really a case of not enough time um, I had enough time I had everything set up at the firewood before it got dark because again you don't want to be walking around when it's dark so yeah I sort of had plenty of time I just normally get here sort of about lunch time and have like a good six, seven, eight, nine hours to set up. Um, but it took me, I think, ten minutes to collect the wood and five minutes to set up the hammock and batter. So I had plenty of time. Um, just less chill time yesterday. The only, the only downtime I had was when I lit the fire and just sat there for like a good two or three hours chill time until six or seven hours chill time so it is enough <clears throat> and I've got all day today to chill um, probably go home later sometime and then chill out all day tomorrow home um, yeah the hammock's taken a bit of a beating well the basher I didn't pull the middle of it back like I normally do because of the wind I didn't want it, any extra strain on it um, And I only pull the middle off it, the centre bit, centre hoop, just to uh, give you a bit more room. But I don't need the room because, you know, the kit's underneath the hammock and the rest of the stuff's underneath the Everbasher. So I don't really need the extra space. Everything's alright so far. The sun keeps trying to come out. That's what I was going to say a minute ago. Yeah, it's really like, not cloudy, but just overcast. 
and there's little gaps where the sun comes out for about five seconds and then it disappears again but it doesn't make a difference I suppose if it's windy rainy or sunny I still do the same things the only thing that changes is the amount of fluid or clothing you have ready if it's hot you drink a bit more if it's cold you wear a bit more all right i want to drink my coffee now and the reason for that is i don't burn my lips on the metal cup I took my shoes off though and gave my ankles and feet another check for bugs and it allowed the water to cool down a little bit so that should be drinkable now because I'm quite parched after all my masonry work today my brick laying my this is like uh, Minecraft you know <laughs> I built something <laughs> Right, so obviously when I want to leave here later, I've got to push the bike out and I'll be taking a wider footpath than coming in. Uh, when I came in on foot, and I got wet, risk of getting ticks on me. And when I leave, obviously I'm going to be pushing the bike out of here because I can't ride up there. Um, so I'll be taking up a wider footprint and the bike will be too hard to push for the long stuff and I don't really want to walk the long stuff. So I've just flattened all that down like a little crop circle. And... Um, Gave myself sufficient room to push the bike and carry the gear because I'd be doing two two runs out of here and it's pretty much fine the rest of the way. My little sheep's track there. Yeah, so if I can do one run out of here to the van, I'll be happy. I don't really want to go and dump the gear off and then come back for the bike. Um, it's going to be a struggle push well, riding it. I wish I had the trailer <laughs> actually thinking about it. Um, I could ride home carrying the bags because I live at the bottom of the hill. It's, uh, it's all downhill from here. So I could just um, put the bags on, you know, with no water, uh, it's not too bad, and just roll down the hill to home. Probably be about 15 minute roll down the hill. Uh, it's just coming up, it would be too much for me because I'm a lazy sod. Um, put that basher away now, it's just too windy for it. It's extremely windy. The wind's just coming straight through the opening over there, beyond that tree. And uh, yeah, there's just no way. I mean, I, I raised it, I made it wider. Um, I tried using a support and uh, it's just too windy for it. And the sun's out now. There's no sign of any rain. I only need it for rain. It'd be nice to keep the wind off me, but I'll just go in the trees if I want to keep the wind off me from, to make a brew. Um, so that's it, really. Hopefully I can push the bike out of there. I'm probably gonna walk up it a couple of times, you know, just for something to do just to flatten down anything that's sticking up. But this is um, preparation really for the end of the month. The end of the month I'm gonna come up here for the weekend. Um, I'm gonna be pushed for time. 
because I'm going to be working Friday and Monday. It'd be nice to have one of the days off to allow, I don't know, not really much to sort out, but just be nice to have a day to play with. Um, at the end of the month, I'll be bringing up CB and PMR, antenna, the solar go box, as well as all this stuff. And um, I haven't decided quite where I want to set up the station yet. I really need to get up there and investigate just to make sure it's okay. I mean, this is the idea of the weekend. The shit, it's the fan part three. It's, um, you know, you can do something in a car, take part in the weekend by car. Or at home, you don't have to necessarily come out to a, a location like this. Oh, that's fine. I can still get the station up there. And it's, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that when I come out here at the end of the month, I can just set up camp and a station and not have to mess around too much. I would love the station down here, but again, it's probably about six meters inclined to the top. And um, actually more than that over there, it's probably 10 meters over there to the top of the actual, from there to there's probably about 10 meters, I reckon. And I've only got a nine meter mast, so I need to get my mast at the top of there. Um, which is roadside, the road's the other side of that field. And this side at least it's blocked a little bit. Um, and hopefully I can run, I don't think I've got enough coax. I could run um, coax down here to the station. Um, and the dole will be confined to one area, you know, just where the hammock is, having the radios there, the brew kit, cooking, sleeping, eating. I don't want to be doing everything in one place. I kind of want the radio station, CB and that, with the brew kit. Because I'll be using that all day. And, um, and I could just put the hammock away in the morning. And I won't be using it. And then just turn this into a station. Haven't decided yet. So yeah, I just want to make sure I've got plenty of options. And most importantly, I want to make sure I can get out of here today without getting nettled. And I still got to get across the field, which is just as bad as this, but we'll deal with that when we get there. Right, scrap all that last slot. The video about the fireplace, I've redone it. I didn't like the way it looked. I had a bit of time sitting and thinking, what can I do? Um, there's the opening. I think it's about a brick or so high now. Um, so I can feed it or have a standard fire. Um, the sides at the front are slightly lent inwards, as you can see. Um, and then there's three bricks high on top of basically the main walls. The flat bits on top, flat, so I think it should be at a bit of an angle, but I've got a different opening at the back, I've got a much bigger opening. Um, I still might open it up a little bit more just to encourage the flames to come straight out of the back and hopefully get some suction going to suck all the smoke out the back um, yeah I might swap those two that brick there and that brick there I might swap them for half bricks just to make the opening a little bit bigger but uh, that's pretty much it I could probably even cook a mess tin on top of there I reckon that slab will get quite hot and I can just sit here like I did last night, just to the side so stuff comes spitting out. I mean, I sat there last night and my legs were really toasty. Um, I could probably sit a bit closer if I needed to. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I should stop it spitting um, so badly, like in every direction. Now it should just spit out the front. Like, not so much at me. Um, there was a few occasions yesterday where it spat a few bits on me. Not a problem. Well, <clears throat> roll on next time, end of the month, and should be able to uh, enjoy that fire quite well. It's looking a bit more square now instead of a bit higgledy piggledy. Right, slowly packed up. Um, just been packing up bit by bit between coffees, and I'm just going to go back to this knot from part one. Uh, That's why I love it so much. You have a stick in there. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. Or twig, you just pull that out, pull this. The thing unravels and that's it actually not untied it's that easy it's an amazing knot and the only thing you got to spend time with is the amount of times you go around the tree i went around a few times because it's quite a long length of power cord and that's it 
I'm getting all the power cord I've got. It's got loops at the end of it. Everything. It just makes it easier. <laughs> and then this side, I've just literally put the loop around and fed it through. So I just pulled it tight. And took this end off to the other tree. Really need one of those tree hugging tripods, really. Anyway, this is what I'll do with the power cord. Not sure if I'm actually in the shot. Can't see one video in. Tidy as. Quick release. Want to use it? This bit here. Just pull it and it unravels. Well, leave no trace. Bit of flattened down grass out there. Uh, no rubbish or you know damaged wood if it's been sawn up or snapped and pointlessly broken um, everything's just trampled down the only thing that is obviously staying is the fire apart from that everything's clean and tidy um, days like this I miss my trailer because I've got my webbing on pouch there and the backpack it's not heavy it's uh obviously got one two three straps around the front of me uh, one two and then three and then the two shoulder straps and then the strap here right we'll do it again We've got the strap here for the um respirator pouch and then um the strap there for the webbing and then that one for the bergen and that one there for the webbing again so it's all strapped all around me which i think is probably a little bit better than having you know just one hefty one around my waist or just two on my shoulders um yeah the weight spread out quite nicely right well, i'm going to head off to the van because it's difficult to stand here and video um sun hasn't really come out properly today it's up there now a little break in the clouds but uh I think it's going to be off and on all day. We didn't get the thunderstorm and the torrential rain we were promised. So I'm a little bit gutted. Um, it's quite a mild night, just, you know, really, really windy. I'll be back at the end of the month. Um, didn't get any videos of lighting in, so I'm kind of gutted. Just going to go back now and see if the van's still there. Um, I think it's 50-50 at the moment. Right, well, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll take care and we'll catch you on the next one. Tell video. you what, it's damn windy out here. It's nearly pushing me over. A proper south down weather that is. It's, uh, yeah, nearly had me over. <laughs> right, see you later. Right, YouTube. Well, I had a note on the windscreen saying driver off, blah, 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 number plate. Please note that parking at this location is not permitted. And in brackets, they've signed it on behalf of EBC, which I'm guessing is Eastbourne Borough Council. And if it was on behalf of Eastbourne Borough Council, oops, sorry, it's something to be I. If it was obviously Eastbourne Borough Council, they would have signed it, probably put a job description above or below their name in regards to them having permission to leave notes on windscreens, or it would be on headed paper. Definitely not headed paper or anything to suggest it is Eastbourne Borough Council. It might just be um, Edwin Baldwin Churchill. <laughs> it could be anything, really. But uh, they were kind enough to let me know that obviously I'm not allowed to park there. But if we have a quick look on Google Maps, and I'll show you where I parked. Because obviously I'm not going to leave the van somewhere dangerous. Um, 
no, that's just that's just crazy. Uh, I hate Google. Come on, load. Anyway, right. This is the main road coming out of Eastbourne towards the South Downs. There's a golf club here on a, on a drop away road with a nasty bend. And quite often people park up the side of here to access the, uh, the footpaths for walking. There's always cars on the way up and on the way down. There's cars parked there and it's just dangerous. Uh, they're overlapping the footpath and all sorts. So anyway, I can't park here because it belongs to the golf course. Occasionally I park here for the radio. Um... But you know that was the brow of a hill. If anyone comes over there too quick, it's just not safe to leave it there overnight. And then all the way down here, all the way down here, all the way down here. This is the entrance for the, the gate for the field. And all the way down here, I parked here. Now this is a holiday cottage, um, halfway cottages, privately owned. Um, and this little dirt track is access to their car park. And this little track here is for a tractor. And I don't know if you can get a car down there. And then there's a gate here leading into the field. No signage on that gate. No signage anywhere around this road or entrance. No signage here. And no signage here. Nothing saying no parking, no stopping, private property, do not enter. Nothing suggesting it at all. So anyway, um, I parked the van right here. Um, I thought best because if I parked anywhere near the road, I could be a distraction or an obstruction. So I parked about five or six cars away from the road. Here and then it goes down quite a steep bank, um, so I parked as far away, you know, not blocking this dirt track, not in the way at all. 